All right, here with two of the Northside Vikings standouts, we got Julian Wooden, Region Player of the Year, might be the State Player of the Year, and Casey Draper, the hero tonight. Two game-winning free throws as they defeat Phoebus to win the State Championship. First time in school history for Northside. And let me start with you, Casey. Two free throws, State Championship on the line. Probably dreamed that when you were, what, four or five years old? Definitely, yeah. <laughs> I remember myself going outside when I first started playing, had to go outside, and uh, my dream, like, <laughs> at a young age, was like, I'm going to play in the NBA. And the NBA floor is bigger. So I'm going to go farther back for the free throw line, not knowing that it was the same distance. But I'd go on there and I'd be like, three, two, one. And I'd shoot it and work on my free throws. And just to see it come to a full circle, uh, it's, it's fulfilling. And all the hard work that the two of us put in growing up together, is, it's great to see it come through. Absolutely. You guys have been a dynamic duo for four years at Northside. I think 107 and 10-year career records. Julian, I know this guy is clutch. Who had more confidence in him making the free throws, you or him? Uh, I mean, I think we're all confident in it because um, we do this every practice. Um, we go and make um, 10 free throws and then we leave. Uh, we do it as a team or individually, so I was very confident. You know how good Class 3 is. I mean, the rest of the statement not the teams you play, and then yeah. John Marshall, who won it last year, Phoebus. The fact they just played two days ago, and you've seen both of those teams two days ago, how much for both of you, Casey and Julian, did it help you knowing, all right, we can play with these teams, and we've seen this before. We won't be frazzled by it. Uh, yeah, we knew we could play with these teams. Um, we played them two years ago, beat all of them, honestly. Um, lost to Norcom in the championship game, but um, we played a hard schedule this year. Um, I felt we were ready to come out and play. So. Yeah, played some great guys. I know with Henry Coleman and Jamon battling some guys you've seen. Casey, be honest now. Great teams that could have won a state championship too. This was a nip to game, but that kind of motivates you guys here that, all right, people said that might have been the state championship two nights ago? Definitely. Uh, it, happened, it, it happens every year. I always, I always say the West is weaker and yeah. that we can't hang with the teams in the East. So our, as sophomores, when we came down here two years ago, uh, we were able to prove ourselves a little bit, and we felt like we had earned our respect. Mm -hmm. And then it came around last year and this year, and it's always the East is better, the West is not as good. So it uh, definitely gave us fuel to the fire and definitely motivated us to get to where we are right now. A few more both of you guys, and I appreciate your time. Uh, Julian, I don't know if you watched last night your future gym. Your teammate Michael Christmas won a state championship yeah, at well, Lansdowne. Any awards? To what was the communication as you were getting ready for your game? Uh, I was just telling him before the game, go out there and do your thing. Um, you unstoppable. Just go out there and play hard, lead your team to a championship. Mm -hmm. And Casey, um, what's the update with you recruiting wise? Uh, I'm still open right now. I'm probably going to play um, for a team in the ODAC. Um, so, I'm going to take my overnights after the year. Well, mm -hmm. now, and then make my decision. <laughs> sure. For both of you guys, start with you, Julian. What makes Casey so good than Casey? What makes Julian so good? Um, he goes hard every night. Um, you'll never get um, a slouch play or bad defense or anything. He just goes out and plays as hard as he can. Best player in the state right here? I think so. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I've grown up with him, and just to be able to see his growth, uh, his athleticism is unbelievable. I've seen him make so many dunks, and I've kind of become numb to it, where it's just like, all right, let's get back on defense. <laughs> and then you look at it, the tape is almost like, wow, that was impressive. Mm -hmm. And it's just being able to grow up, see him develop, especially his shot. Um, he's become a dual threat. It's, he's a mismatch nightmare, and it's just been a pleasure playing with him. Yes, sir. What's it mean to give this to Coach Pope? 500 plus wins, probably a Hall of Fame coach. No, he's yeah. been knocking on the door. What's this mean to give him this championship? Uh, it means everything, honestly. Um, you can see how hard he's worked for. Um, it's been a long time coming, honestly. I'm just glad to be with guys to get it done for him. Extra motivation to give for him after the last two years being so close, knowing that this was y'all's last chance to give it to him? Uh, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, and this isn't only for Coach Pope, this is for all the players that have come to the program that, yeah, that still support us. We got community guys that come back all the time. Mm -hmm. Players from last year were here today cheering us on. And they'll come to practice and play with us as well. Yeah, they'll come to practices. So, I mean, it's we got two coaches, three coaches on staff that played here. So, uh -huh. we just. It's just for the whole community. They've been behind us all year. They really rally behind us, and it's great to just get it from them, and it's Coach Pope. Final one for both of you guys, and I appreciate your time. You're going to be some memories, I'm sure, and you'll have a lot of time to soak it in, but what are you going to remember here? It's fresh now from this state championship win and season. Uh, that's a tough question, honestly. Um, hopefully I'll just remember all the moments that we had um, in the hotel room we had last night, just on the way back home from um, W on the bus, just making jokes and just being with my teammates. Uh, definitely just so good in all the experience. That, definitely the two free throws, obviously, but <laughs> just as a team, uh, I mean, it was just, it was just great. It, it could have been any better. Yeah. It was just perfect. Two state champions, Julian Wooden, Casey Draper, congrats on the state championship. Go get some Chick-fil-A. Yes, sir. All right, guys. <laughs>